To install the Blaze Pizza Stone, simply remove either the two middle or two side grids from your Blaze grill. The stone rests in this stainless steel tray, which holds it a couple inches from the grill's flavorizing grids. By diffusing the grill's flames, the stone is heated very evenly, instantly turning your Blaze grill into an outdoor pizza oven. Let's check out the smoker box. You normally wouldn't have to remove the cooking grids, I'm just removing them so you'll get a better view. Due to the lack of excessive air holes in the lid, and the fact that the box is solidly welded, you don't really have to soak your chips before smoking. For smoked pizza, I have the far left burner set to medium low, and the two burners under the stone set to high. Right after I put the first pie on the stone, I'll turn the two far right burners to medium high. One thing I'd like to mention is, nine times out of 10, if somebody's having problems baking a homemade pizza, it's usually because they started with either a frozen crust or dough with tons of fillers, pH balancers, you name it. It's so easy and rewarding to make your own crust with just a few simple ingredients, I highly recommend it. The pizza's been on about a minute and a half, I'll give it a half turn. Also, watch what kind of cheeses you use. Most pre-shredded cheeses have cellulose or other anti-caking agents added to them so they don't melt very evenly. We're now at the four to four and a half minute mark with another half turn. You almost have to smell this to understand, but since I can't make that possible, you'll have to settle for the sound of the crust. Blaze Grills, where grilling starts and flavor begins.